Well, things are pretty quiet out there so far this morning, but we are looking to see a bit more of an eventful afternoon in the region. This is definitely the moment to kind of take take note and get yourself prepared for that drive home tonight. We are going to be seeing some difficult and significantly impact travel conditions across the region, and we do have a winter weather advisory in effect for portions of Minnesota and northwestern Iowa from 9 a.m. today until noon tomorrow. Winter storm warning in effect for far northeastern Iowa from noon until noon today until noon tomorrow. So in terms of what we're tracking for today is that significant snowfall. So we are expecting measurable a uh, few inches of snowfall here within the area to fall this afternoon and into tonight. We are also expecting some difficult travel conditions for that commute back home today. And in terms of accumulation totals, anywhere from around three to seven inches of snowfall is possible. Right now things are pretty quiet out there. Temperatures into the single digits to low teens. And like I said, things are pretty quiet, looking mainly at cloudy skies here within the region as we take a live look from your Lewis Donato camera in downtown Rochester. Just some cloud cover across the area so far this morning, so calm before the storm. That snow impacting uh, portions of South Dakota, Nebraska into Iowa here this morning, seeing that heaviest band right now, kind of just to the north of the Omaha area, kind of right around Sioux City, Iowa. So we're going to continue to see the snowfall, uh, continue to track north through Iowa, uh, kind of getting into Minnesota here as we head into the midday. So kind of timing this system out as it makes its approach to our area. We will stay quiet for the next handful of hours, but as we head towards about the noon time, we'll see this light snow beginning to enter along the I-35 corridor and continue to pull in uh, heading towards the east. So entering the Rochester area and areas along Highway 52 by about one this afternoon. So again, starting off as some light snow, but as the system pulls through throughout the afternoon, we will expect to see some pockets of some heavier uh, to moderate bands of snowfall. Uh, areas into far northeastern Iowa could be seeing some snow rates this afternoon upwards of an inch per hour. So that again, right there will make some for some very difficult travel conditions, especially within uh, that portion of the viewing area. So by the dinner time and the evening commute back home, plan on some very messy, slow going conditions. Plan ahead, make sure you have your headlights on and your car is packed and ready to go with your winter kits. So we'll see that snowfall begin to pull out of the area after the midnight hour, more so towards about 1 a.m. or so. Cloudy skies remain on the backside of this system. Heading into Wednesday morning, still kind of plan ahead uh, for another slow commute into work uh, for that morning commute. But throughout the day, we'll see afternoon highs topping off into the low 20s. So we'll be uh, slightly cooler, but overall quieter compared to what we're expecting here for the second half of today. In terms of snow total amounts, we will see some lighter totals towards the north and heavier towards the south. Anywhere from about three to five inches of snowfall in the northern portion of our viewing area. The main center portion, including the city of Rochester, Austin, Elberly, and towards Mason City, looking to pick up anywhere from about four to six inches and anywhere from five to seven down into far northeastern Iowa. So, and again, is going to be where we're going to be seeing uh, the heaviest of that snowfall. Today, we will see temperatures into the mid 20s with that snowfall likely throughout the afternoon and evening. Plan ahead for difficult travel today and for tonight. The overnight lows will be into the mid teens, mid to upper teens with light snow continuing and wrapping up after midnight tonight. Your extended forecast showing some quieter weather on the backside of this active system for today. Maybe a few additional snow showers possible for New Year's Day on Friday. But again, looking at some more sunshine on the way for this upcoming weekend. So the best part of the day, Sarah, is likely right now this morning. Yes. <laughs> Thank yes. you. So, yeah. Coming up.